Hi, this is Everett, and this is an intro to my quadcopter altitude hold project. Uh, I certainly should have introduced this project a long time ago. This has been in process for uh, many months now, um, but I just got so caught up in it that I never ended up writing it up or sharing any my progress so far. So let's jump, just jump right into it. Um, this is my 250 size quad, and it's running the uh, NACE 32 with clean flight, which is supposed to be able to use sonar and a altimeter, a barometric altimeter, to do automatic altitude hold. And I tried for a long time to get that to work and never had any success with it. So the project that I started is um, uh, basically my own board that interrupts the throttle signal from the radio when enabled by an auxiliary channel and uses uh, sonar to generate a, a, a new throttle signal that goes into the flight controller um, in an effort to hold altitude automatically when, when switched on. What I had done originally was I used some of these uh, cheap HC SR04 sonar modules to try and do it, and, um, and I had my own board talking to this and doing the signal reading and generation for the, the throttle signal. And I discovered along the way through a lot of frustration that there there's a hundred different things that interfere with the use of sonar on a quad. There's electrical noise, there's uh, air currents and temperature changes and acoustic noise from the props and um, moisture in the air and just all kinds of different things that cause an uh, unbelievable number of problems for sonar. So it, I took a number of steps to try to fix each of those issues. The first one was separating the transmitter and receiver so there's some stuff in between them. And uh, that got rid of any uh, weird effects with bouncing off parts of the frame or other things like that. So now they have to see an object uh, pretty far away to, to get a bounce between these. I also shock mounted the receiver in this foam and it's also fully surrounded in this plastic holder uh, to try and shield it from directions other than down. Then I uh, discovered that the HC SR04 sonar is way too uh, easy to trigger. It would get false triggers all the time that were not from pings but just from acoustic noise coming from the props and sometimes electrical noise so I had to strip the microcontroller off of the board and replace it with my own. And uh, that allowed me to analyze the signals of the, the echo uh, directly. So I kept all the analog parts. There's a 10-volt a, a driver for the output, the transmitter. And then there's this op-amp network that's a bandpass filter for the 40 kilohertz coming back. I kept all of that, but I now use my own microcontroller, which is a PIC uh, 16F 1824, to generate the pulses and then analyze the signal coming back directly. And it's also doing the job of um, reading throttle and auxiliary signals, generating a new throttle signal, and running the PID loop. And so, so because I have my own software on there, I can do things like be much more selective about what I qualify as an echo. So I'm now waiting for pulses to come back after I send a ping and watching the waveform uh, to get multiple echoes and then I check the timing in between those pulses to make sure that they're a valid frequency. So that allows me to be very selective in what I receive and um, being able to act as soon as I see an echo also gets me faster updates, uh, more real-time um, value for uh, altitude than I would with using the standalone module which has to receive the echo and then take the time to generate the pulse that it uses to communicate out to the host system. Uh, in order to uh, get rid of electrical noise I had to use a shielded coax cable on there um, and that is, uh, that is about it for that system. Now the software is a whole other issue and I've gone through many many iterations of that and I've got one that will work fairly well right now but it is quite limited in what altitudes it will work at because it needs a pretty strong echo 
So th I've got it working up to uh, about three feet now. And in an effort to improve that altitude, I've got two avenues I'm going to uh, try out in the near future. One is to increase my transmit power by um, upping the voltage that this ultrasonic transducer is driven with. And then the other idea that I had this week is to use one of these cheap radar modules from eBay to do um, to sense the relative velocity of the ground and therefore the velocity of the quad and use that to do a control loop on vertical speed and that would be a much faster and hopefully less uh, interference prone signal and if I get the quad to near zero speed then I can use the sonar and get a ping every once in a while and not rely on real-time information from the sonar nearly as much. So I've got some boards on order that do uh, amplification and uh, bandpass uh, filtering for these so that I can hopefully use them to get a vertical velocity number, run a separate control loop on that, use that radar and sonar combined to get this to function. Uh, but uh, let's, I got this working fairly well, so let's do a demo. So I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but there is a green LED on the uh, near left corner that blinks every time it gets a ping from the ground, and you can see the effect of the turbulence from the props. It doesn't really get anything above about three feet. But I'll bring it down to about one and a half to two and switch on altitude hold and we see how it works. So now I've enabled altitude hold, and I'm just controlling the um, pitch and roll to keep it in place, but it is uh, operating the throttle all by itself. You can see it jumping up and down a little bit, but uh, it's not going unstable, and uh, I'd say overall that's pretty good. So my goal at this point is uh, just to improve the range of altitudes that this will work at. And hopefully radar and uh, a couple of other ideas will let me do that. But for right now, this is uh, some degree of success, which I think is deserved after the months of uh, banging my head against the wall. This has turned out to be a very difficult problem to solve, but I'm uh, pretty happy with results like this. All right, I'm going to shut that down and land. Thanks for watching.